How's it going, guys? It's Poacher Sun, and welcome back to another episode of the Dutch Return Campaign in Europe Universal 4. Uh, last episode, we were having a discussion about uh, sort of uh, American versus European views on American versus European histories. <laughs> uh, this episode, we're going to continue onwards with our campaign and maybe find another thing to talk about, since I kind of vented out everything, all my thoughts about that last time. Uh, I think we're going to go to war with England this episode, if we can, but... It remains to be seen if we actually can. Uh, we have separatists. Where? Uh, down there. Okay, go go deal with those guys. Tell you what, put a different leader on and put you on autonomous rebel suppression. Suppression. Um, are there? You uh, have been going way too long. You don't need to stay there that long ever. Um, and that will once those guys get there, that'll actually be the end of that. Uh, or that colonial nation will be completed. Um, rather. But I've been slacking on my colonial stuff. Um, still, uh, we're doing pretty well right now, I, I, I think. Um, we still have over the limit for vassals. Uh, that's why we are going to hopefully be able to get uh, Sayak destroyed and get Pasai all their land back uh, in one war. I doubt we'll be able to. 135, and it's reconquest, so we might be able to. Uh, glad I didn't declare there, but um, in about a year we can. Uh, I think we just wait until then, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I did have an interesting time talking about that last episode. I'm curious to see. I'm, I'm sure some people might be offended by <laughs> that discussion, but um, no, I really was not trying to offend anyone with the discussion last episode, because uh, I do really only just... Uh, I. I I think most people, European or American, uh, do have respect for for the other side um, and uh, are willing to learn about the other. They just don't necessarily have any reason to in high school and whatnot. It's not really pushed by their by their countries um, or by their by society really um, in either case to learn about the other uh, larger you know area of Western civilization. Uh, it's not really pushed as much in school, so I don't really think it's uh, anyone can hold it against the other. Um, it's just not as, as relevant to, to most people in their daily lives, although there are plenty of people who, who break that one and do, like, you know, move to Europe or, or move to the U.S. from Europe, uh, um, you know, so. So it is, uh, it's interesting, though. It is certainly interesting. I think, like, um, again, I don't want to go down that whole, you know, rabbit hole again, but, uh, um... Well, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think a lot of uh, a lot of Americans. Uh, I was sort of talking about how last uh, last episode I was sort of talking about how like a lot of times Americans will never in their life go to Europe, and so that's part of the reason that I think uh, they should be sort of given the benefit of the doubt a lot. But uh, with that being said, there there's uh, a lot of Americans uh, who who in their whole life never even go to a different state, never even go to different states um, within the U.S., um, which is uh it's just a, a difference in uh, american culture and and uh economy and whatnot um and norms i guess i don't know uh real quick let's focus on what idea we're gonna take i really want to take probably influence uh we're gonna take either administrative or diplomatic ideas um or you know not the actual idea uh, administrative or diplomatic ideas but in those groups um among those uh, categories. Um, I don't think we want humanist. I don't think we really care for religious. Um, economic is not necessary really as uh, being the Dutch. Innovative is fine, but eh, don't really care that much at this point in the game. It's good to take innovative early. Admin is always good. So if we do take an administrative, it's gonna be admin. Uh, it's a little harder for diplomatic. Uh, trade is fine always, but um, we don't really need that. Kinda is repetitive, redundant. Um, we have so many merchants already. We're gonna get more. Espionage, eh, kind of sucks. Maritime, pretty su pretty much sucks. Um, we already are going to have a huge navy. So it's a, it really comes down to diplomatic or influence, um, which are very similar. Um, I think we're going to go influence, though, because of the fact that it is... Diplomatic is uh, more focused on diplomacy in general. It has relations and reputation and whatnot. Influence is a little more focused on having vassals, and we are going to have long-term permanent vassals. We're also going to be annexing some pretty expensive vassals. We're also the aggressive expansion. I'm pretty sure we just take influence here. 
Um, and we probably want to find a better... A better, uh... <laughs> what's it called? Better dude. Crew relations guy. Yeah, I know, we went way over on the... Uh, oh, we already have a... That was some redundant. Uh, Alright, whatever. Um, we are gonna have to fight some nobility. It's fine. Jeez, man. Uh, yeah, go down there. You'll be fine. Oh, hey, the Frenchies are gonna fight our rebels for us. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even realize that. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't know. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of Americans um want to go to Europe, but just can't really, and never find the uh, opportunity to. And uh, and because it's so uh, uncommon for us to necessarily go to Europe all that often, maybe then it's it's really not as relevant for us to learn about like European history, even if it is interesting. I agree. Um, but uh, but yeah, it is a shame nonetheless. But I uh, it was so here's a, I guess an anecdote that's some tangentially related. Uh, I had in Spain. I had a friend I met from Spain. Who, uh, who, I think I will actually lose the money. Um, I had a friend from Spain, from Alicante, where I was studying, uh, and she was, she's pretty cool, uh, and she's pretty smart. She spoke really, really good English, um, uh, better than most, like, uh, Spanish-speaking people I've met, probably, um. Uh, not the best um, out of the Spanish people I met, but uh, certainly pretty good, pretty high up there, um, and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, and in any case, um, with that being said, she, uh, at times, I would, where was I going with this? Um, what was I going to say? Now, what do we want to colonize now? I'm pretty sure... We don't really... We're going to conquer stuff from England there. We don't need to worry about that. California could work. Um, it goes to either Mexico, which we're going to be conquering soon as well. We need to do that, actually. Um, and also, you know, the Caribbean. But it also goes to... Uh, it goes to Nippon. I thought it went to Philippines. No. Philippines goes to Mexico. Uh, Panama. Okay. I think we actually might want to colonize Panama. Might as well. Um, what was I going to say? I, so yeah, my, my Spanish friend, she is, she was pretty cool. Um, but, uh, it was always funny talking with her, uh, seeing her, her preconceived notions of what Americans are like versus what Americans are actually like. Um, I think a lot of Europeans don't necessarily know what most Americans are like because there's not a ton of Americans living in Europe so a lot of the time the image that the image that Europeans uh, get of Americans and again I'm making blanket statements about both Americans and Europeans so I apologize this is obviously not the rule um, of thumb although it, it's just sort of impressions general impressions um I think a lot of times the image that Europeans get of Americans is what they see from tourists, um, in person from tourists, which probably isn't a good image. Uh, and also what they see, what you guys see from TV and whatnot, and, uh, and news. And neither of those are particularly good images. Uh, and I think a lot of the time, um, a lot of time that it's, those things sort of accentuate the differences between Americans and, uh, and and European cultures, but uh, I think in general, in general, I feel like there's more similarities than there are differences. I and I think I actually have uh, at least the fact the past few years I've I've always held that view with a lot of stuff. I've always sort of felt that um, in general across humanity, um, whether you're from you know like whether you're um, Asian, you know, South American, North American, European, African, whatever, uh, anywhere in the world, I think there's always more more similarities than there are differences. Um, and I think a lot of times people don't think that. 
Well, that's that's just my opinion, at least. I, I've always thought there's that uh, people play up differences when in reality we're all not too different. Um, and with that being said, um, I, I did always find it funny, uh, sort of uh, talking with my my friend from Spain and seeing what her thoughts were about uh, Americans and and sometimes correcting maybe notions that I are personally not true, at least for me, even if some other Americans might fit the mold, but, um, and beyond that, sort of, uh, <laughs> beyond that, um, sort of just, like, learning more about, like, uh, her perceptions of Americans, uh, learning more about my perceptions that were perhaps incorrect, um, and whatnot. Um, for instance, one of my perceptions that uh, it kind of uh, going along with what I was talking about before. I certainly thought that Spanish culture would be a little more different than it was when I got there. Even with my sort of general philosophy of uh, expecting of, uh, of thinking that we're all pretty much uh, you know want the same things and in, in are are mostly similar in our basic when it comes down to basics. Um, I did sort of uh, I was surprised by how not too different Spanish culture was from American culture. I mean, obviously, like, uh, food and stuff is, is different and all that, and, uh, and you know, yeah, stuff like that is always, always there, traditions and whatnot. But just in terms of, like, the way people act, the way people, like, uh, their people's views on a lot of, like, social issues and whatnot, um, the variety of those views, the way people, like, discuss those views and whatnot, I, I was surprised. I was like, this is not really nearly as different as I thought it would be. Um, and I, I was surprised by that. We have 74 colonial maintenance. Jeez. Maybe I did go a little overboard. Hmm. Okay, England did leave a coalition. Uh, leave the coalition. Yeah, aggressive expansion is coming down pretty fast. Um, Pasai is still in the, the coalition, though. Morocco as well. Um, I don't feel like fighting a global war yet. Um, so even though we could totally beat that war, uh, we're not going to try. I would rather go to war with England. England, who are you ally with? Sweden and Nuremberg. Yeah, totally worried about that. Mm -hmm. Where's your capital now? It's in Fife. You have a lot of development up there, buddy. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to war with England. I think that's fine. But yeah, so... Uh, but I remember there was one time where... So, okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, I... Obviously, when we're talking about geography and whatnot, um, I have a lot of advantages over the tip over the average American um with the whole thing of um uh with the whole the whole fact that I have played a ton a crap ton of EU4 in my day uh I ooh Denmark and Sweden are in a fight nice um I obviously have a lot of advantages over the, the average American I have a lot more time looking at maps of Europe than almost any Americans out there that aren't historians. Um, but, uh, <laughs> so with that being said, I, one night I remember I was at like a, a bar with my, um, my friend and her boyfriend, uh, and I was, and, <laughs> and, uh, we were, we were talking and they were like, they were like, um, I bet you don't know where this, uh, European city is. Um, or whatever. Uh, basically, so her boyfriend is uh, is Norwegian, and then I, I rattled off like the name of like four different Norwegian cities. I, I think I, I don't even remember which ones I said. I think well, so I said like Oslo, and then I was like um, like Akershus or, or no Akershus is like the province or whatever. Um, but I was like uh, you know um, Telemark and and Bergenshus and uh, Trondelag or you know I think I said uh, Trondheim or whatever. Um, and uh, and I named off these cities. I was like, uh, wh which one of those are you from? And he was like, what the what the fudge? How do you know any of those? Um, and and then and then my friend, um, she was like, yeah, like I'm you know, I'm his girlfriend. I don't even know any of those. Um, 
I was like, oh yeah, I, I don't know, I just like play a lot of map games. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay, you're, you're a nerd. Um, they didn't say that, but but I'm pretty sure they were thinking it. Um, so anyway, so they, they were like surprised. Um, and then they were like, wait, how much like do you actually know about <laughs> of like Europe and European histories? And I was like, well, I don't know, let's see. And so they started like quizzing me. Uh, so they're like, you know, where's like, um, where is this place and where's this place? And I got most of them right. There was a couple that I got wrong still, but um, uh, but they were like, uh, they were like, wow, you you know like quite a bit. Um, and, and I was like, yeah, well, it's, I'm definitely the exception to the rule, um, and, and stuff. And then and then I was like, okay, well, how about this? I, I am curious about something. It's that I started quizzing them like on American uh, geography. What I what I specifically did was I I. Uh, I asked them what states border Texas to see if they can name them, uh, and they actually got like uh, like half of them or whatever, or a good chunk of them. But um, but uh, but they still did get a few wrong and whatnot. Um, but uh, but anyways, but it, it but it kind of did show the differences. Like you know, they don't necessarily know about uh, about uh, American states. On the other hand, even if they know a lot more European geography than 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 uh, the average American so it's kind of funny just cultural differences um, uh, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here um, we pretty much have them 100% uh, siege down um, I was hoping that our colonies would siege down some of the other stuff here uh mainly what we want to do with the colonial stuff is um oh darn it they're it's occupied by an enemy in another war we basically just want to cut them off uh take the innermost ones we don't really care about anything else um necessarily but yeah uh i suppose you guys meet up there destroy that navy please oh hey do that actually that'll Get us below the limit for, you know, temporarily. Um, hey, look, look for me. I got dudes here. Um, yeah. What about Sweden? I wish Sweden would be actually useful. That's mean. Um, you guys, you have a mission. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We should figure out someone else to talk about in the next video. I'm probably going to record one more video before I, before I stop to, for the day. Um, we should go ahead and start proving relations with other vassals. Uh, who is the lowest? Hamburg. Uh, Hamburg, 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 Humbug. Um, France is just so scary. Jeez. Eventually, we're gonna have to go to war with them. Just remember that. Hey, Sayak, you left the coalition. Guess what that means? You're gonna die. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy, but you're gonna die. Oh, hey. Oh, fudge. Maybe don't go there. Actually, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Come back to Havana. Spend uh, some vacation time. Um, three days. Okay. Essentially, I want to do this. <laughs> Just trap them in. Um, we are going to bring an army over. We're going to have to bring an army over here, it looks like, to, to do that. That's fine. I'm ready to do that. We're gonna spend the time to do this right. Don't do that. So many points. Um, go ahead and start developing. Do we have any states we can make? Uh, you know what we do have Liège. We have Liège. Yeah, Liège should be a state. That's good. That I thought of that. Um, do some manpower. Do some tax as well. Um, yeah, there we go. And with that being said, I think we should probably just declare on you now.
It's reconquest, so we should get very little aggressive aggressive expansion in this war. Um, it's the idea, and it's only gonna take that one army. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and uh, wait for our army to reach over here. Shouldn't take too long. I don't really care about that stuff. I don't really care about you, Aachen. Okay. Here we go. We got a 35 stack here. That should be more than enough. Uh, let's take these guys, bring you in here, and... Uh, Make our landing. Ah, oh, they just got the fort. Darn it. We should be able to make it before this guy. It's the occupation. There you go. Hi, we're here, biatches. Hey, sorry for the language. I normally try not to curse, but... Come at me. Cross the river. I dare ya. I effin' dare ya. Get wrecked, mate. Get wrecked. Uh, we're gonna hire some mercenaries here to deal with uh, occupations. Meanwhile, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna bring you in here. There's a lot of hostels, huh? <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, come in here first, and then come over here. There we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, we won that battle. Good. We stack wipe them too, nice. I'm really happy about that. I really don't care about Brunei at all. We'll probably have to fight them a little bit to get them out of the war in, in the first place, but uh, once we full occupy, we'll do that. Uh, you come up here, you come up there. There we go, let's go. You guys have no chance. Cool, siege is done. Um, I think we need to end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.